Hey guys, I'm Danielle and this is Book Cara. Welcome back. Today I am bringing you a bargain book haul. I got 13 new to me books from a place called Better World Books and I got them all for under $50 total. So a little bit about Better World Books. For every book you buy, they donate one to someone who needs it. They keep a running tally of the total books that you have helped donate. And so far I am at 41 books donated. And that is since I discovered this website in January of 2020. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Your purchases also help fund nonprofit organizations that are helping change the world through education and literacy. The first book I got is A Pocket Full of Magic by RJ Anderson. I first heard about this one on Instagram at Bell's Middle Grade. This book is classified under middle grade, fantasy fiction, and mystery. I am going to read to you a little blurb from Goodreads. It says, a Veronica Mars type girl joins forces with a mystery loving street boy to solve mysteries in a 1930s style city driven by spell power. A new paperback edition of this book goes for $8.99 and I got it for $3.99. Next, we've got City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. This is book number one in the Mortal Instruments series, part of the Shadowhunters Chronicles. This is the sequel to the Infernal Devices series, but from what I understand, the recommended read order is to read this series first. This one is classified as YA Urban Fantasy and is set in modern day New York City. A new paperback copy of The City of Bones costs $14.51 and I paid $3.98. Next, we have The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafone. This is book number one in the Cemetery of Forgotten Books series. I believe I heard about this one on Bookstagram. It is a mystery set in Barcelona in 1945. A new paperback copy of Shadow of the Wind costs $11.59. I paid $3.98. Next, we have Dark and Deepest Red by Anna Marie McLemore. This is YA fiction fantasy and is a retelling of Hans Christian Andersen's The Red Shoes. This book has a dual timeline and is set in Strasbourg 1518 and 500 years later. A new hardback copy of Deep and Darkest Red costs $10.79. I paid $5.50. Next, we have Small Spaces, which is a middle grade debut for author Catherine Arden. She is also author of The Bear and the Nightingale, which you will see later in this stack. This book is classified, again, under middle grade and also horror paranormal fiction. I may use this for the spoopathon prompt of something you are afraid of because I am claustrophobic. A new paperback copy of Small Spaces costs $8.99. I paid $5.56. Next, we have Eliza and Her Monster by Francesca Zappia. This is YA fiction set in small town, Indiana. The Google Books blurb says a love letter to fandom, friendship, and the stories that shape us. A new hardback copy of Eliza and Her Monsters cost $10.99. I paid $4.53. Next, we have The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. This is book number one in the Bone Season series. This is her YA debut and is a supernatural dystopian novel. I have heard a lot of great things about this series on a Frolic Through Fiction's channel. A new paperback copy of The Bone Season cost $10.99. I paid $5.16. Next, we have The Miscalculations of Lightning Girl by Stacey McAnulty. This is middle grade fiction, and the Goodreads blurb says, A celebration of friendship. Stacey McAnulty's smart and thoughtful middle grade debut reminds us all to get out of our comfort zones and embrace what makes us different. A new paperback copy of The Miscalculations of Lightning Girl cost $7.99. I paid $4.32. Next, we have Call Down the Hawk by Maggie Steepgater. This is book number one in the Dreamer trilogy. This is YA fantasy, and I'm not sure where I got this blurb from, but it says a mesmerizing story of dreams and desires, death and destiny. A new hardback copy of Call Down the Hawk costs $11.36. I paid $4.95. Next, we have Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. This is a debut novel, YA dystopian and sci-fi. The blurb says, a world at stake, a quest for the ultimate prize. Are you ready? A new paperback copy of Ready Player One costs $12.78. I paid $4.18. Next, we have The Bear and the Nightingale. This is the first book in the Winter Night trilogy by Katherine Arden. This was the only cover that I was disappointed in. This is not what I was expecting at all. But The Bear and the Nightingale is historical fantasy, and the Goodreads blurb says The Bear and the Nightingale is a magical debut novel from a gifted and gorgeous voice. 
It spins an irresistible spell as it announces the arrival of a singular talent. A new paperback copy of The Bear and the Nightingale costs $14.99. I paid $5.69. Next we have Necessary Lies, which is a historical fiction by Diane Chamberlain. I heard about this one on Lindsay's Little Libraries channel and she gave it five glowing stars. The Goodreads blurb says, Best-selling author Diane Chamberlain delivers a breakout book about a small southern town 50 years ago in the darkest and most hopeful places in the human heart. A new paperback copy of Necessary Lies costs $12.94. I paid $5.27. Next we have Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is book number one in the Illuminae Files series. It is YA science fiction and the Goodreads blurb says, told through a fascinating dosure of hacked documents, including emails, maps, files, IMs, medical reports, interviews, and more, Illuminae is the first book in a heart-stopping trilogy about lives interrupted, the price of truth, and the courage of everyday heroes. A new paperback copy of Illuminae costs $9.96 and I paid $5.92. So the prices that I gave you for the Better World book prices were not the final prices that I paid for these books because I also had about a 21% discount through a discount code that their website offered. So had I bought all of these books on Amazon, I would have paid $146.87. My total before my discount on Better World Books was $63.03. And like I said, my discount came out to about 21%, which was $13.76. So I paid $49.27 for 13 books from Better World Books. That is a savings of $97.60 over what I would have paid had I bought them new somewhere else on the internet. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. This was something different for me. I didn't mention in my intro that I got the idea for this video from Martine at Just Martine. She does a Dollar Tree haul and I am going to link her most recent Dollar Tree video up in the cards. I will also put a link to a $5 off $30 or more at Better World Books in the description. That is kind of like a referral code. I think I'll get $5 off as well, should you decide to use it. So it's there. If you want to use it, no pressure. I'm curious to know, did you like this video? Would you like to see more videos along these lines as far as saving money, buying books? Also, I would love to know how do you save money buying books? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time with another video. Bye!